the title of today's webinar is Signify Lighting Academy Motorsport Night Racing on Street Circuits. It will be presented by Roboto Greeley and 3D Gene. Engineer Roboto Greeley is DZ Engineering's General Manager with over 15 years of experience in the motorsports and lighting industries. He is responsible for both commercial and project management in integrated solution for racetrack circuits, sports venues lighting, museums and architectural lighting at places of worship. And uh, good afternoon to everyone, good morning to everyone and thank you very much to Signify Lighting Academy for the today's opportunity. I'm Roberto Grilli, General Manager of this uh, Engineering, a company specialized in lighting and uh, telecommunication and with uh, a good background in what is the motorsport industry for the circuit, especially for lighting and for the um, race electronics. So let's start with today's presentation. In my today's presentation, I'm going to uh, start talking about us, about our company and about uh, our sports lighting portfolio. Then after that, from point three to point seven, I will guide you on uh, the uh, path to the journey to have and to reach a design for a motorsport uh, street circuit lighting system. So let's start immediately with uh, the, the today presentation about us. We are part of Dino Zoli Group, a holding based in Italy that uh, the portfolio business ranges from uh, textile, uh, from furniture, foundational contemporary art, real estate company, agriculture, a company that is producing all in wine, and of course us, design engineering. We have our HQ in, uh, in Italy. We have a company, uh, in, uh, a private limited company in Singapore, and we recently opened also a, a branch in uh, Saudi for uh, a recent uh, work that we delivered there for the lighting of the first E-Prix in the history of Formula E during night. A straight circuit will allow you to bring your family inside to the circuit park because they, they can open the gates at uh, two in the afternoon. Uh, they will give you entertainment, food and beverage for the entire family. So after that, you can enjoy the race and at the end of the race with the same ticket, you can uh, even uh, attend concert with big names uh, uh, with the same ticket. So that is what Singapore was doing and I think they did it well in the past. They are still doing it and they will do, do it in the future and it's really, really a great format for everyone. Last point. Lighting solution not limited to circuit, but should include peripheral infrastructure for a better experience and impact. As I said, is not only for uh, the passion people that they want to catch the race. It's also for the entire family, for the TV broadcasting, for the people at home. And this is the reason why, uh, after the first few years, even in Singapore, we proposed and uh, actually we worked very closely with the government for enhance the, some uh, uh, iconic building or some uh, building related to the track like, uh, the, like here, the pit building or here, giant inflatable Singapore flag during the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix in 2014 for the TV broadcasting that was fantastic and amazing. Or enhancing some iconic building for the landscape of Singapore Grand Prix like the conservatories of uh, Garden by the Bay, or the National Gallery, or also, again, the Esplanade Theatre in Singapore. But as I said before, um, the promoters, the events are always hungry of uh, new things. And that's the reason why we play with lights in uh, the rear during the Formula E Grand Prix. Uh, would you please uh, um, start with the last video? It was the first time that uh, with the racetrack lighting we played to create uh, uh, the um, to create an effect. So uh, I might say that with lights, the only limitation that we have is our imagination. Thank you very much for your time.